The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. Tim Wilmot speaking. Uh, welcome to our Workbooks Hangout session, the first of a couple of sessions today. I'm joined by my colleague, Peter, Peter Johnson, who I know many of you know. And the whole idea with our, our little training sessions is that during this lockdown period, we want to try and share as much information as we can about workbooks to help you um, keep productive, keep your knowledge levels up with workbooks during this period, so that when we come out of it, um, you know exactly where everything is and you're you're firing on all cylinders. So this morning, uh, so this is this is one of two sessions today. This morning is the basic session, something for any workbooks user. Whereas this afternoon, our Tech Express uh, session will be more um, advanced topics um, suitable for people that run their workbook systems or just want to go to a whole new level of workbooks. So this morning, we're covering, covering reports on landing pages, a great way to customize your um, experience and, and the data that's being shown to you. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. Your microphone is on mute. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel. And Peter and I will try and answer as best we can. And it'll be, it'll be quite a, a short session, this 10 minutes, quarter of an hour or so. Um, it is being recorded as well, so you will get an email with a link to recording, and it will be up on our YouTube channel as well. That will be Wizard Systems. Uh, if you just search for Wizard Systems on YouTube, you'll find us, um, hopefully, no problem at all. Just a quick mention about ourselves. I know most people on the call listening live um, know us very well, but we are independent CRM solutions providers. Workbooks is one of many solutions we provide here, and we offer um, supply the complete service around Workbooks, so anything to do with the setup, implementation, customization of workbooks, training. Um, we, we offer this a little bit of free training now <laughs> during this lockdown period, but we do offer more extensive training options delivered online right now. Um, should you want to explore that with us, love to have a chat with you. Um, training on, on any level of workbooks and um, related products and, and whatever location you're at. And finally, our help desk support as well, ready to answer any of your calls. So um, I'm now going to pass over to Peter. Uh, good morning, Tim. Hang on a second. And good morning to everybody. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I've got the screen yet, Tim. Um, just let me check to make sure you can see my screen OK. Yep. Good. Uh, so yes, good morning to everybody. So we're going to have a look at um, uh, adding reports to landing pages today um, and I know that most people are aware that you can go straight to the reports area you can go to the landing page of reports and run a report that you want um, very easily you can also share them on dashboards of course um, you can have the dashboard showing those but a uh, few people um, know that you can share them on any of the landing pages so if you've got a particular report that's useful of course the restrictions to landing pages are that you can filter only the information on a particular record type but sometimes there's some useful reports graphical colors and, and so on that's quite nice to uh, share on a, a typical landing page the one i'm going to show today is opportunities so if i go to the opportunities landing page you can see here uh, there are uh, many different views. This, in fact, is a report. So you can see here, there's a report. Uh, it's colorful um, and probably shows some extra information that you can't normally put on a, a standard landing page by creating views. Um, you might have some information from other records and so on. Um, but uh, of course, things like colors and um, highlighting things uh, is not available on a standard view. But this report is available. And it's really easy to share a report on these landing pages, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's go and have a look at see. I think I've got here, uh, I think there's a few pipeline ones that are quite useful. I'm going to just do a search for my reports and show you the report that I'm going to 
add uh, oh, pipeline. Um, let's have a look. So we've got uh, a few uh, different ones on here, pipeline reports and so on. Pipeline reports stage this quarter. There's, there's all sorts of different uh, reports uh, that are really uh, handy to have on uh, your, let's have a look at this one, pipeline for next quarter. That's quite a useful one. Let's use that one and put it on a landing page. So quite a useful report. And of course, anybody clicking on this can drill into the information in a bit more detail and get that. So uh, to give that functionality to a landing page, let's go to our sales opportunity landing page. This could be any landing page, of course. I've just chosen this one because it's probably the most uh, relevant for the uh, information we're going to share. So in here, um, now normally you would uh, customize the landing page and save as views but what we're going to do is we're going to put in the views area a report and by doing that or how we do that is to click on this little clog cog get my words out this morning click on the little cog icon uh, near the views so let's click on that and here are uh, your management of those views uh, but we can add a report view here so I'm going to go click add a report view there's a few fields on here i'm going to um, go and find our pipeline for next quarter which is the one i just uh, shown you in the reports list um, we can uh, select where we put that uh, and we can also uh, give it a name here and uh, there we go so so save and close <clears throat> It's taken a while. There we go, done. So if I now close my list, you can see in my opportunities landing page, I now have my pipeline for next quarter and I can click on this. And of course I can drill into the information in the normal way um, by uh, expanding uh, those uh, areas that I want to see in a bit more detail. So really easy to um, offer those onto the landing page. You can also um, change the name, share them with other users. Uh, by If I click back into uh, this little cog here and go to the landing page report and uh, let's just change the name of this, we'll call it um, forecast, um, let's use company forecast, there we go, company forecast, and of course at the moment I'm the only person that can see this because I've added it to my landing page to share it with others, so it goes across the board, we click on the sharing icon in the top right and add the list of people that you'd like to see this and I'm just giving them all read rights to this if I save and close and now that particular report on the landing page is now shared with everyone it's called uh, company forecast and you can see here that you can get to it really easily so really quick really easy to do um, often missed uh, i must say um, people just restricted to normal landing pages but reports can really add to this um, i know you can share them in all those other places but sometimes this is quite a convenient place to have those available so really quick and easy hopefully everybody uh, uh, saw that and could manage it on their own system tim anything to add Okay, so thanks, Peter. So as we normally do now, um, open out our call to any questions you've got, uh, particularly around this feature or indeed anything loosely related to what we've been speaking about on this session. Um, so just type those into your question box on your meeting control panel. Um, got a question, question from Shane. I noticed the option for a tooltip please can you tell me what that does tooltip 
Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I think you were on about the one in the view. So when you go to views here, um, you can add a, uh, if I click back on that view, you've got this uh, area here, this tool tip option. So it's, it's automatically filled with the name of um, the report in this example, but you can add whatever you like in here, a bit of text, which is available if you mouse over the item. So if I put uh, this is company forecast info by quarter. Yeah, and if I save and close that and come out of here, anybody visiting this now as they hover over here, you get this tool tip, the little gray box showing, um, and you can see it's quite useful um, in lots of areas, a fairly new feature actually in workbooks. Uh, we didn't add it too long ago, um, but it's nice to hover over fields and information to allow the user to get a bit more. Nice if I spell that correctly. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, thanks, Shane. Um, next question from Amy. How do I create a shortcut to that on my desktop? I assume Amy's oh, yeah. the report. Yeah. Is that Amy, was it? Uh, Amy, Amy. Uh, in the normal way. Um, so uh, in any window within um, workbooks, you can uh, hover over, once you're on the area that you want to see, you can hover over the item in the top left corner, the little icon, and if you click on it, you can simply add uh, a shortcut to the desktop, uh, give it a, a, oh, that's on my opportunities, let's go to company forecast. So if I go in here, add a desktop, give it a, a, a descriptive name, you can change the name if you want, choose OK, and you've now got a shortcut on the desktop, which means you don't have to travel through the start menu down to the landing page. You can just click on your shortcut and go straight to that area. Yep, great. Okay, thanks, Amy. I don't think there's any more questions coming through. If any more late questions uh, come in there, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye on things as we close down the event. We'll answer those separately of our email. But thanks very much, both of you, for those questions. Uh, so that that um, concludes our our first relatively basic session today on reports in landing pages, great feature of workbooks. Um, this afternoon, we've got a slightly more technical session, but still nothing too difficult before the bank holiday um, weekend in the UK. Uh, but thanks very much, all of you, for uh, those, of the, those of you that are attending live or listening to a recording this up on our YouTube channel, please contact us about anything to do with workbooks or CRM generally. But thanks very much. Have a great day. And for some of you, we'll speak to you later on today. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye.